Hey y'all, hey, it's Erica with Time to Shrink. Today we are going to do some grocery shopping. We're gonna hit the Costco. So come do a little bit of shopping with me and then I will show you my haul at the end. All right, let's hit the Costco. Movie tickets are on sale right now. They're normally $35.59 and they're $6 off, so $29.59. So if you're going to the movies this summer, this is a good buy. For my VSG folks, I don't know if y'all can see that out there, or I'll show you this first. The hair, skin, and nails is $4 off this month at Costco, the biotin. I was about to be excited about their vitamin D, this nature's made vitamin D, y'all, but you always with vitamin D want to turn it around and see because look at that, soybean oil is what it's in and that's inflammatory. So you do not want to take a vitamin D that is in, you want one that's in olive oil or coconut oil. So that would be a no, even though it's on sale. All the summery stuff is gone, all the lake stuff and ocean stuff is gone and it's like furniture city. Like, I don't know what the deal is with that. Furniture City. All right, let's see what we need. I have not seen these before. These are $5.99. They would not be great for keto, but they're grain-free, so they could be a um, possibility for gluten-free kiddos. And let's see. Kosova, sunflower oil, cauliflower, chia seeds, sea salt, a veggie blend, and some, so yeah, the, it's pretty clean. I mean, it doesn't say that the sunflower oil is non-GMO, so that would be my only concern with that. But only one sugar, which would come from the veggies, so. Not, oh, it is. Oh, okay. This is non-GMO, so this is really a pretty good option. It truthfully is. Y'all. Cello wisps are on sale. Instead of ten dollars, they are seven. These are the best. They've changed their packaging. It used to be the little individual size looked like this, and then the big packages were that yellow. So they've changed their packaging, but it's the same thing. I figured this out last time. These are probably my favorite protein snack, y'all, because it's just cheese. It's literally just cheese, and you get 13 grams of protein in one serving. I know I talk about these all the time, but I absolutely love them. They sit on my stomach so, so well. If I need extra protein and I just can't stomach any meat, I go for these. Another new find. This is organic. It's $6.89. Cauliflower bites. Sea salt cauliflower bites. Low crisped. Gluten free, obviously. It's cauliflower. Let's see. Six servings. 200 calories per serving. That's high for cauliflower. 19 fat. Six carbs. So four grams of four net carbs and a good amount of fat. This is a very keto friendly, y'all. Where are the ingredients? Here we go. Organic cauliflower, organic sunflower oil, and since it's non-GMO, that's not bad. Sea salt, open, eat, repeat. I feel like I need to try these. I feel like I need to try them, just so I can tell y'all what they taste like. It's nice and high fat. Y'all, this kombucha is so pretty. It's so pretty, Jay. How pretty is that, y'all? I feel like I need to turn it around and figure out what the sugar content is. I love kombucha, and these are so pretty. Yes, Seven I'm basing eight. this on how pretty they are. 18, that's way high for kombucha. Way too high. Bye-bye, pretty kombucha. Always get bacon, whether you are sure if you need it or not. Okay, Erica, it's the blue one that's not low salt. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's heavy. Gatorade Zero is on sale, y'all. $8.99 instead of $12.99 for Gatorade Zero, y'all, at Costco. Have any of y'all tried this cilantro marinated shrimp? Every time I almost buy it and then I don't. I bet it's yummy. Is it yummy, y'all? Tell me down below if you've had it. Alright y'all, this may be a find. Grass-fed beef patties with blue cheese. 
Is the blue cheese in it? Oh, that sounds good. They're fully cooked. Oh, they're fully cooked. I don't know, yeah. I don't reheat well. Not I found something else new, at least new to me. These are not cheap. It's eleven ninety nine. But it's a prosciutto crudo. It's got fontina. Oh, it's got crackers. I thought it was just cheese and meat. It's got crackers too, but it's got cheese and meat. So you could throw the crackers out, go for the cheese and meat. I do buy these sometimes, y'all, and eleven dollars, but it's already prepackaged for you and it's pretty good. It's provolone cheese and salami. It's really actually pretty good. I like that a lot. As always, I always want all the cheese. All the cheese, please. However, I just threw this in here without showing y'all, but this one is on sale right now and it is a, such a good cheese. It's $1.75 off right now. I seem to have lost Jason, y'all. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know. More cheese. Dairy, dairy, dairy. Ours never has the Philadelphia cream cheese. It just has this brand, and I do not like that. I wish we would get Philadelphia cream cheese here, y'all. All right, y'all, we made it out of Costco. Moment of silence for less than $200. Less than $200 at Costco. I don't do that very often, y'all. I'm super proud of myself. Costco haul y'all. The only thing not shown is two pallets of Gatorade Zeros. They were on a major sale like $8.99 instead of I think like four or five dollars off. Okay got two things of Parmesan Caesar salad kits. These are only four dollars a piece which I think is a really good deal because they're really big. They're bigger than the standard one that you buy at the grocery store and we really like this one. We just throw away the croutons and go for it. Now obviously the dressing in this is going to have some oils that are not necessarily the best choice ever. Canola oil is the first ingredient in the dressing so that's not ideal but but my little man really really likes this he probably has Caesar salad once or twice a week and he does not like my homemade Caesar salad dressing he's very very particular and he loves this one so this is what we get this is our favorite sliced pre-sliced cheese my entire family all loves this and what I like about it is that it's aged over 12 months so it is better for you it aged cheeses are not as inflammatory so that's good plus it is freaking tasty same with this this is an aged cheese it was on sale so we went ahead and bought it i do not always get this but we love it and it is also aged this one's aged longer i think yeah 15 months this is just the plain sharp cheddar from kirkland that i buy it's aged also only six months but it is aged and I like to just shred this and then keep it in the fridge or in the freezer. So this is, I usually get two of these every time I go. I don't know what, I guess I got this as my second cheese. But this is probably going to be a slice and eat cheese, not a shredding cheese. We got some chicken breast. I use this to make like different dips, especially my buffalo chicken dip. And my husband requested that. Wasn't sure how many we had left. And obviously these will sit in the pantry. So bought that. I like these because you get three separate pouches of ham and there's no nitrate or nitrates added to this one. This is a honey roasted ham and this is pretty much for my son. He likes these and cheese quesadillas. This I buy to make egg roll in a bowl so I throw away the packet of stuff that goes in it, dressing packet and the extras that are in it and just use it for egg roll in a bowl. I absolutely love this. This is probably my favorite mix for egg roll in a bowl. Trader Joe's has one I like also but I really really like this. This was $5.29 I believe for this whole thing and it will make a bunch of meals with egg roll in a bowl. This is the cheese that I get for quesadillas because if you shred your own cheese for quesadillas and it doesn't have that little bit of cornstarch or potato starch in it, they spread out and make a ooey gooey mess, which tastes good, but it's just a mess. And I make quesadillas pretty much daily for a little man, so we use that for him. Mozzarella cheese, I like to buy these and keep in the freezer. These are great for fathead doughs and we needed to restock on mozzarella cheese, so I got that. And again, 
I buy this pre-shredded on purpose for fathead dough because that little bit of cornstarch or potato starch that's in it helps the fathead dough just hold up better. If you shred your own and it doesn't have that additive, it just like, it doesn't puff up as well. It doesn't stay, it just doesn't stay together as well. I don't like my result as much. So I think Carolyn Ketchum is who suggested that. It does better with the, this type of cheese versus shredding your own. And I totally agree with her. And I think that is the best tip. She is also probably my favorite cookbook, keto cookbook author. Love her. If you don't have her books, you totally should. Okay, this one we're gonna taste test for y'all in a minute because we have never had it and I am super curious. And also, if we don't like it, even if you have opened it, anything can be returned to Costco. You do not even have to have your receipt. Their return policy is the best. Parmesan cheese wisps, y'all know I always stock up on those. This huge bag of tortilla chips was only $5 and this will be for my kiddos. I needed to restock on almond flour. Got some bacon, needed to restock on bacon. And then we needed more pimento cheese and this is their favorite. And it is by far cheaper, way cheaper at Costco. That would be the Costco haul y'all. And I am so proud of myself that I only spent $160, $160 y'all at Costco. I'm really, really proud of myself. Probably helpful that I didn't take kiddos with me, but even when I'm there by myself, I can do way more damage than this. I really stuck to my budget and I'm really proud of myself. So that was the Costco haul, y'all. Let me get all this stuff put up. All right, y'all, we're about to try this cauliflower. We may be going back to Costco tomorrow. I just opened the bag. <laughs> I'm not loving the smell. It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. But when you open pork rinds, it's pretty strong, and I love me a pork rind. What, is, what do you think? My brave hubby went first. It doesn't taste like anything, really. All right, this is what it looks like. All right, here we go. It's not bad. Wait for but, the aftertaste. Oh, Jason says wait for the aftertaste. <laughs> That's where the cauliflower really hits you. I don't know. I might like it. Uh, you don't like I don't, it? I don't I, you so. could use. You could dip this in stuff. Okay. Dip it in a lot of stuff. <laughs> dip it in a lot of stuff. <laughs> it just tastes like cauliflower. It really does, y'all. Mm, yeah. I think it's good. I'll eat it. I won't buy it again. It was like eight dollars for this. Expensive. It was really expensive. I don't know that I would buy it again, but I'll eat it. I'm not going to return it. Oh, too big of a bite. Maybe if you dip it in like a whole scoop of pimento cheese, that will be good. Lots of buffalo dip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun today, and I will talk to y'all again tomorrow. Bye-bye, y'all.